Well, welcome everybody to the sharing session of the high-level workshop on uh, living in a low-carbon society that uh, Atomium Culture has organized in order to create an intersectoral, interdisciplinary, uh, and European dialogue on this issue. Now, already in the title, after the debates we've had these past two days, we know that we should not be using low carbon or carbon. We shouldn't be using transition either as words for describing this process in order to uh, get the support and the necessary strength behind the debate. But uh, more importantly, um, I think that the discussions we've had in the past two days where we've had leading representatives from university, industry, policymakers, and media to together discuss what are really the challenges in order to reach the goal of uh, living in a low carbon society by 2050? And how can we get there? What are concrete measures we can do even in the current political uh, scenario? Uh, this type of initiative falls very much in line with the aims and the mission of Atomium Culture. Atomium Culture um, engages some of the leading universities, newspapers, and businesses at a European level. It's 25 universities, 17 newspapers, and 10 businesses in order to promote research and innovation, particularly in the communication and dissemination field. So how is this communicated, and uh, why is Europe less engaged in this debate than we should be? The issue of the transition to a low-carbon society is one of the most pressing issues of our time and really represents one of the grand challenges where all the different sectors of society will have to come together if we are to achieve the very ambitious goals that we have set for ourselves. Before uh, giving the floor to Professor Brunig, who will be presenting the results on of the breakout session, who was discussing the sociological aspects of this debate. Um, I would like to thank uh, the people and the organization who has made this possible. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to uh, thank the uh, Belgian presidency, who has been very supportive and been uh, directly engaged for six months now in coming up with a, a system and a structure that is very constructive into actually what, is, what can be done realistically. I would like to thank uh, our uh, university uh, partners in this section, with particular uh, mention of Lund University and uh, Professor Nilsson, who um, hosted the first high-level workshop on this debate, wrote the first part of the report, and has been very active in supporting the organization of this event. Uh, Professor Bunuel, who from uh, Universidad Autónoma de Madrid, who has been looking at the economic issues and writing the first, if you put the, the middle part of the section, and um, Catholic Universität Leuven, and Professor Hans Brunig, who has been looking at the sociological issues. I'd also like to thank our business partners and sponsors. I'd like to thank Bayer, Siemens, Shell, and also as uh, um, the zero emissions platform for sharing their expertise in this field, which is uh, very valuable in trying to look at how can we realistically achieve this um, and obviously allowing us all to be here today. Um, I'd like to thank all the participants of the high-level workshop who have given their time in order to create some conclusions which are innovative, realistic, uh, and really looks at the different aspects of this debate. So thank you very much, everybody, for, for uh, contributing to this initiative. And now I give the floor to Professor Brunig.